Welcome to the Smite God reveal for Shibalanke, the hidden jaguar son. As one of the Mayan hero twins, Shibalanke and his brother Hunapu knew their lives would eventually force them to face the Lords of Death, chiefs of the underworld who murdered their father. But first, they would need to master the arts of hunting with blowguns and the violent ball game pits. As a test of their strength, they decided to defeat the vain and evil bird lord, Seven Macaw, who declared himself the sun and the moon and replaced his teeth with glistening jewels. The hero twins fired their blowguns at the perching bird lord, knocking out several of Seven Macaw's glittering teeth and eventually slaying the prideful bird with guile and trickery. It would be many years and several trials later that, at last, the hero twins were able to challenge the Lords of Death and avenge their father. But their final victory allowed them to ascend to the heavens, where Shibalanke was immortalized as the moon, lighting the night for clever hunters everywhere. Shibalanke's passive ability is called Dead of Night, any gods that Shibalanke kills while Darkest of Nights is active increases his physical power permanently. His first ability is called Branching Bola. When activated, Shibalanke deals additional damage while also hitting enemies behind the target for reduced damage. Shibalanke's second ability is called Poison Darts. Shibalanke sprays multiple darts in front of him that poisons the enemy. Enemy gods can be hit up to three times, but poisoned only once. His third ability is called Rising Jaguar. Shibalanke rushes forward and then jumps into the air, dealing physical damage. Enemies that were poisoned by poison darts take additional damage. Shibalanke's ultimate ability is called Darkest of Nights. When activated, Shibalanke shrouds enemies in darkness, limiting their view for three seconds. During this time, his basic attack range and movement speed increases. At the end of the three seconds, enemies that are moving are stunned. In this scenario, Shibalanke is coming in to help Guan Yu, and the first thing he does is activate Branching Bola. He then initiates with poison darts on Anhor and then finishes Anhor off with basic attacks. He turns to Bacchus and manages to secure the double kill with a little help from Guan Yu. So right off the bat, Shibalanke jumps in with poison darts as Vimana is trying to recall. He attempts to flee, but Shibalanke immediately uses Rising Jaguar, and then he activates Darkest of Nights and secures the kill. Anhor, who's trying to get out of there, ends up getting stunned at the end of Darkest of Nights, allowing Anubis to deliver the finishing blow. So coming to the aid of Freya, Shibalanke jumps in, activates Darkest of Nights to blind the enemies and to assist Freya in a kill. His ultimate ends and Artemis and Bacchus are stunned. They try to run. Meanwhile, he uses poison darts to damage and slow Artemis, then rising Jaguar to get ahead of her. He uses branching Bola to secure the kill, and then he himself runs into the jungle. Since Shibalanke is the hidden jaguar son, most of his skills rely on a combination of fast, cunning, and deadly attacks. It is wise to start off with a point in Branching Bola to help Shibalanke earn gold and sustain the lane early game. Next, picking up Rising Jaguar can help Shibalanke when he finds himself cornered. It is both a great escape and initiating skill. From there, their priority is Branching Bola, Darkest of Nights, Poison Darts, and Rising Jaguar. Also introduced in this patch is the new medieval-themed Joust map. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Shibalanke, the hidden jaguar son.